welcome to yet another amazing class today our learning targets are i can read tricky words i can read sounds from the consonant flip book i can ask and answer questions about key details in the story the milk tricky words tricky words like we said are words that do not play by the rules they are words that don't follow the rules so we are going to review some tricky words now we have one 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 it is one it's a one-eyed monster it's a one-eyed monster the second one is once 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 upon a time there was a princess and a pea once upon a time there was a princess and a word pea Let's review some sounds from our consonant flip book. We have ch, the word ch, ch sound, the word chi sound, as in each, 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 the chi sound, as in words each. The next one is s, s as in rings. As in rings, we have what again the sound which has different spellings. S sound which has different spellings. Remember, we said this in one of our videos that the sound has two spellings it has the word s spelling and the c spelling. So now we're looking at the s spelling and the word c spelling. So we have the first one is C sound as in rinse and the C sound as in prince. Now let's look at page two of our individual code chart to see the sounds. Now this is the C sound sound. We have son, we have scent, we have dress, we have prince, we have rinse, we have we have Riso, we have scent. These are the word the C sound. Now open your worksheet 18.1 and complete the activity there. You would see the C sound and the ch sound. So you are going to circle the sounds according to its heading. Let's review punctuations. We have three, we've been treating like four punctuations, but now we are going to be treating treating three punctuations we have the period punctuation this what we usually call full stop it's called the period punctuation a period is used at the end of a sentence a period is used at the end of a sentence this is a question mark this is a question mark now a question mark is used at the end of a sentence when there is a question this is used at the end of a sentence without a question why this is used at the end of a sentence when there is a question that's how to understand a period mark which we usually call a full stop is used at the end of a sentence without a word Question. Why a question mark is used at the end of a sentence when there is a question? Now, this is what we call the exclamation mark. The exclamation mark. An exclamation point is used at the end of a sentence when there is excitement. When there is what? Excitement. That excitement could be fear. Yes. It could be when you're happy yes so that is you can either be, be scared and be excited or be happy and be excited is a general what statement excitement now today you are going to unscramble sentences again remember something that is scrambled means it is all mixed up and something that is unscrambled is something that is in order or orderly arranged something that is arranged is something that is unscrambled now this time there is more 
than one way to unscramble the sentence. We have is a girl she saw. Now let's look at this word. Is this word scrambled or unscrambled? This word is what scrambled. It's a scramble sentence. We don't know which is supposed to be where. So let's see how to what unscramble the sentence. We have is she a tall girl? Is she a tall girl? You see, the sentence has been word unscrambled. But if you look at it before, it was word it was scrambled. Now it is orderly arranged. Is this girl is she a tall girl? Yes. Now we have another one. Is girl she tall? A. Now let's see. She is a tall girl. You see, there are many ways to unscramble words. There are like two ways to unscramble words. It depends on your word punctuation. It depends on your word punctuation. This one is a question mark. Why this is a what period mark? The other one ends with a question mark. Why this ends with a period mark? Now, like, do, play, to, ball, question mark, and you. Now, let's see how to unscramble this word. We have do, we have you, we have like, to, play, ball. Do you like to play ball? You see, this is a question and it has been what? Unscrambled. Now, let's unscramble it again, adding an exclamation mark. You do like to play ball. You do like to play ball. It's an excitement. You do like to play ball. Now, let's read the milk from our readers. From our interesting reader, the card bandit. Do you like to drink milk? Mm. Well, I love drinking milk. Do you think the cat bandit like to drink milk? There are commas in yesterday's story and there would be commas in the milk as well. A comma in a sentence means to take a tiny break when reading. Now let's preview the vocabulary. We have shared, we have hung, we have swung, we have lap. Now what is lap? In this story, the author uses the word lap. Lap can mean the area from your waist to your knee. Yes, that is what we know as lap. Now lap could also mean to take in food using your tongue. Now you see that lap has two meanings. Yes, at this point it has two meanings. Lap can be seen as your from your waist to your knee. It can also be seen as a process of drinking or taking in food. Now this word must be read in context to find out the meaning. Do you think this word will be used in the story to refer to the area on a seated person or to drink with the tongue? Now, let's read the story to see our predictions and see if our predictions are right. The milk. Once Beth left a glass of milk on the deck, the cat bandit spotted it. It was up where he could not get it. Mm, clever girl. The bandit was sad. But then he spotted a spring that ran from the shed to the deck. Wow. Mom had hung wet soaked wet pants and a wet jacket on the string. The bandit grinned. Mm. The card bandits went and got that belt. Then he got up on top of the shed. He swung the belt on top of the spring. Then he held on to the belt and jumped off the shed. Whoosh! 
the bandits went zipping off on the string. Pop, pop, pop. He knocked the stocks off the string. Pop, pop, pop. He knocked the pants off the string. Trash. He knocked the jacket off the string. Hmm. Clever cat. At last, the bandits went zipping past the milk. As he went past, he kicked the cup with his leg. The cup fell on the deck with a crash. The bandit landed on the deck. Then lap, lap, lap. That was the end of the milk. You can see how he licked up everything. Now open your worksheet 18.2 and complete the activity on your worksheet. Now let's decode new words. We have each, we have catch, we have fetch, we have match, we have hatch. Phrases and sentences. We have a witch with a hat. Catch the fish. A dog fetching a stick. The fence is red. Wiggle cards. You know, the interesting part of this wiggle card is that we tend to act, we tend to perform what the wiggle card says. So let's see the first thing. Two plus one is what? Three. Thank you for having an amazing time with me. I hope you enjoyed this class. So we meet again in our next class. Have a wonderful day. Bye.